Hello stampers, Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you from Menasha, Wisconsin. Today I'm going to show you how to make this adorable little treat box. Isn't it cute? It holds six Hershey nuggets, kind of like a little milk crate, and it's super easy to make. So let's get started and I'll show you how I did it. First thing you're going to start off with, I use Calypso Coral cardstock, and this is four by eight inches long. I'm going to bring in my stamp and trimmer, and we're going to do a little scoring here. On the long side, you are going to score at one inch, so I'm going to put mine up this way to one inch, and then I'm going to flip it around, and I'm going to score at one and a half, three and four. And then I'm gonna flip it around and do the same thing. So I've got one, one and a half, three and four. Now I'm gonna turn it this way and score this side. So I'm gonna again score it one inch and then one and a half three and of course it's already scored at four because we scored it from that side so let me give you these measurements again we've got one inch one and a half inches three inches four inches and if you want to just keep going that way we've got five inches six and a half inches and seven inches so you can do it either way now we're going to turn it on the short side and we're going to score at one half and three and a half. So I've got this over here at one half, and then I'm going to flip it around and do three and a half. And basically, all you're doing is putting a score line at a half inch on both sides. Once we have that done, we're going to come in with our paper snips and we're going to snip up the long side. And you guys know that anytime I make boxes, I like to do little divots. So I'm snipping on the score line and then just a tiny little triangle off of the tab. And you're going to do that here, 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 here. There's a lot of here's in here. All these little score lines. Okay. Oh, look, they all fell off. That doesn't happen very often. All right, you're going to do the same thing on this side over here. And then we're going to start burnishing all of the score lines except the two at the three inch mark. So you've got a four inch mark and three inch and three inch, okay? Does that make sense? So you've got a four inch mark in both on the sides there. You're not gonna fold on these two. So we're gonna fold here and here, okay? That makes our little holder for our nuggets. And we're gonna fold here and here. Before you do all this folding, if you wanted to stamp your box up, your little nugget holder, you certainly could before you start folding it you get better images that way. And then last, you fold in the middle. So this is what we've created. All right, looks just like that. Now I have already got a piece that's done here with all the cuts on both sides and folded. So you're going to go to the back of your box and you're going to glue down the two middle tabs. just like that. Those go on the inside. We don't need to worry about those anymore. Okay, and now these are gonna fold up just like that. Let's get that open a little bit. So you pull your tab in and the front goes over the sides and you're just gonna add a little bit of glue. You can use glue or sticky strip or tear tape we're going on the outside with the little tab and the inside with the glue on this one. And it's going to go together just like this. And I always like to kind of hold these up and kind of square them up before they stick good. Just like that. I'll do one more side here for you. 
outside of the tab gets the glue, inside of this one gets the glue, and you're going to fold in the back and then the front goes over the outside. And again, work with this to square it up. And that's your cute little box, okay? Once you have both sides done, you're just going to take your paper snips and you're gonna cut at an angle just like that. I told you this was easy. It's so adorable. Okay, let me get this side done and I'll be right back. Okay, now that I've got that finished, both sides are together. Again, I'm gonna trim off these little corners that are sticking out at an angle. Okay, we've got our little, it's almost like a little tool chest too. Oh my gosh, there's another great idea. You could use this to put some candy in and decorate it like a little tool chest. Now I'm gonna take some tear tape and I'm gonna add that to the inside just because I feel that it is stronger and it has no possibility of popping apart. And you're just gonna fold it together like this. Fold that together. Here's our little milk carton or toolbox if you need a toolbox, that's cute. And then, here's what I did. Did you see this kit? This comes with a cute little stationary box that's just adorable. And inside this box is a whole bunch of ribbon. And that's what I use to decorate my box here as I put this ribbon on it. And I wanted my ribbon to stay in place, so I took my tear tape, and it's easier just to break off pieces than it is to try to wrap it all the way around, so that's what I did. I just broke off pieces of tear tape here. This is gonna help keep my ribbon in place. I'm just gonna peel this off. Putting that all the way around the side. Ugh. Don't put it down in your surface. Meh. That wasn't the brightest idea. Here we go. And now, my ribbon ended right in the middle of my box because I put that cute little flower on there to cover up the seam so you won't have any seam. Your, the front of your box is gonna be just as cute as the back of your box when you're done. Cut it off right here. Isn't that adorable? And you can see right here how cute that was. This one's Calypso Coral, this is Peekaboo Peach. Then I added some of, the, some of these little die cut flowers that come with the kit. I stamped them with the stamp set. Isn't that adorable? Look at how cute that is. Flowers, little images, lots of words. And I glued one on the front and the back. And then you've got all of these little flowers and I put those on a dimensional with a rhinestone in the middle. And then you have all of these die cut leaves and that's what I used on each side of the flower here. So you can see just how cute that is. Now, let me tell you just a tiny bit about my nuggets. I couldn't find a sheet of these because I used them all. But I took this tiny little image in here and I stamped Calypso Coral, little tiny flower bursts all over these Avery labels. And then when I was done with that, I took a sponge and I sponged my label, and you can make it any color you want it to make your candies match. Sorry, I know I'm jiggling the camera there, but that's how I made these cute little nuggets that go inside my nugget holder. So there you go, guys. This was another fabulous paper pumpkin kit. There's lots and lots of stuff that I can reuse over and over. You know that you get a you get a full stamp set in each kit, which is super cool that you can use over and over again. These are some of the envelopes. They have these stripes on them, 
and this is the alternate card that I made that I'm sharing with you today on my blog. I just added some Whisper White cardstock, a stripe of black, and I stamped again those little flower bursts all over and the You Did It. Added some die cut adhesive leaves, stamped my flower with the petal stamp right here, and put that little image, all of these die cut flowers right in the middle. Super, super cute and fun kit. I had a blast with this one. Now, how do you get your kit? If you weren't a subscriber in August, you can't get this kit anymore with all the stuff in it. You can buy refills once you become a subscriber if there are any available. But again, a refill is the consumables that come with the kit. And these kits come with everything in them. Here's little mini dimensionals. Here's some um, navy baker's twine. Everything you need is in the kit except your scissors and your adhesive. So this is a great gift idea. It's fun if you're traveling away on the weekends. You can just take your whole paper pumpkin kit with you, grab some scissors and adhesive, and you can sit and make these any place. Absolutely love these kits. When you subscribe to a paper pumpkin subscription through me, I will provide you with seven to eight alternative ideas to use with your paper pumpkin kit. And here are the cards that were suggested by Stampin' Up! and they provided all the supplies to go with this, plus this cute little box. I absolutely love this. Let's see if that'll fit on there. I think it's a, oh, it's a little big, but um, I don't plan on putting this in a box anyways. I'm gonna make up some more cards to put in this box. So if you go to my blog right here, stampabove.com, you will find my blog and you'll also find a link to click on that can get you a subscription to Paper Pumpkin. I hope you'll join me. Thanks so much for watching my video. Bye-bye.